episode of matters ago today i want to talk about something you know just about behavior of people in general you know we all are very judgmental me especially because i've got 260 something videos where i'm passing judgment on everyone you know from little to big from politicians to musicians i'm i'm passing judgment on everyone and you know the way i do it it's comedy, it's entertainment, it's on the internet, you can watch it if you want to, you have the choice to not watch it. But there's people who do what I do here, and just remember, this is the only place I air my shit. I don't just air this everywhere, This I keep it for here, I release it here, and hopefully someone can get entertainment from it. But there's some people who just air their shit constantly, just whinging and bitching and passing their judgement on you. And you know, honestly, in the real world, you do that shit, chances are someone's gonna fuck your shit up. I don't really, you know, I have opinions on people, I'll tell them to people, you know, and that's it. You know, I'm not the kind of person who's just going to walk up to someone and say they're a shit-eating fuckhead. I don't actually do that in real life to people. I don't walk up to people and just fully insult them to their face. You know, I find that, what is people's problem? What do you have to say about someone else, right? If you have a legitimate concern, I mean, if you're living in a country and a politician is running everything like a dictator, you have the right to go up to him if you have the opportunity and voice your opinions. What's the worst that could happen? You know, you're going to get killed by this dictator anyway. You know, they're very rare situations where you've got to get harsh with someone and just, you know, lay some fucking reality on them. But humans, as you know, are very selfish people, and I do include myself in that statement, because we are all a little bit selfish. We get a little bit aggravated and we say some shit to people. But, you know, I never just, you know, get pissed off, walk into a room and just tell someone to get fucked. Uh, that's not my style. I'm not going to get all upset about some of my shit and just tell you to get fucked because that's completely unfair. I mean, yeah, I might yell, I might rant, I might rave, I may even throw something not add anyone and not have any think of any value maybe i'll just you know I'll go for the softest thing i'll throw a pillow i'm letting the aggression out but i'm not harming anyone else i get annoyed at these people who you know a lot of the time they act real pretentious like they're great people you just a cunt you know i don't know why people can't admit to themselves when they're being a cunt i'll admit that the opinions i share on the internet and some of my behavior in real life like when someone shits me i do tend to act like a cunt someone gets in my face and starts shitting on me i'm gonna shit right back on them that's not the right thing to do i really should ignore it that's the best thing to do so you stop the behavior by not even acknowledging it people are going to walk around your whole life and they're going to talk crap about you and they're going to say horrible things about you and they're going to make judgments on your character and that doesn't matter if you're you know right down at the bottom on like welfare or if you're all the way at the top of the ceo of a country or president or prime minister judgment is always being passed you know it's a lot easier to deal with someone's judgment when it's on the internet as far as i'm concerned I have a chance to respond to their criticism. It's not being thrown in my face. I can choose to look at it or I can choose to ignore it. I hear from a friend that, you know, saying that, oh, this person's saying this about you here. I have the choice to, you know, look at that and respond or to just completely deflect it. But when motherfuckers do this shit in real life, you have your problems and you're all pissed off, so you're gonna call me a piece of shit? Fuck you, I don't do that to anybody. I never get pissed off at something totally unrelated that has nothing to do with someone and then start insulting them and shitting on them. That's some fucking bitch shit. And I don't respect anyone who does that. If I have a problem, I'll, I'll whinge about the problem. I'll complain about it. I'll express my concerns. But I'm not going to just turn to the nearest person and shit on them because I'm upset. You know, this does change when the, it just so happens that the person I'm with is upsetting me. You know, we all get upset when people are just mm, in our face and we try with our words and, you know, to get them to go away because most rational people don't want to result to violence as a first option. You try your words, doesn't work, you smack them. 
And that's what you need to do to people who shit on you. No matter what you're doing, the only person who needs to judge you is yourself. You need to look yourself in the mirror and see where you're fucking up. If you need, if you're getting in other people's faces, let's say you are just got some shitty job like me, you know, doing kitchen and shit, and you're walking around going, I'm the fucking coolest cunt, every, you know, everyone else is a fucker, then you deserve to be shat on. I don't do that. I'm a kitchen and I've said it on this fucking series a hundred times. The whole world can find out where I'm actually at. I call myself at the bottom end of middle class. I say it because that's what it is. I can admit it. I'm not showing off to anyone. I'm not saying, you know, I'm better than everyone. I will brag about, you know, going into work all the time and working hard. Not to brag, but to just tell people it's a good thing to do. No matter what your job is, no matter what level, it has worth if you do it with pride. But no one gives a shit about that. They just look at status and, you know, I even get pissed off at people who have too much dignity. You are fucking boring. Oh, they yelled at me. I can't handle it. Kill yourself. You can't handle life. You're whinging about someone yelling at you and annoying you occasionally. There are people in the world who wake up and get a gun put in their face and you're there whinging about your regular day shit. Fuck off whinging to me about your shit and then shitting on me. And then you're going to sit there and tell me, oh, take it, it's the truth. I know it's the truth. I admitted it to myself. I say it openly. You don't have to shit on me about it. So what? I'm in a shitty job and, you know, I stay there out of loyalty. I'm a fuckhead for staying there out of loyalty. You know, at least I'm taking precautions and going on an apprenticeship to improve myself. But no, 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 that's not good enough for you. My loyalty and my respect and my appreciation for even having a job in the current, you know, economic climate isn't good enough for you because I'm not following what you're doing. Fuck following what other people are doing. Do whatever feels right to you. If you feel like... I, I'll even... I don't give a fuck what your opinion is. Because fuck people. People deserve the shit that happens to them because they're fucking pussies. And that's the fucking reality. If you're like me and you can admit to yourself when you're fucking up and you don't feel like walking around airing your dirty laundry on every other fucking passerby, you're like me. You're a regular person, a good person who just keeps their head down and does what they have to do. But if you're some cocky cunt who's done a few little things and thinks you're a fucking champ and you're going to shit on everyone underneath that and show your superiority... Fuck off. You know, fuck off. That's how serial killers are made. They think they're so good because they did a bit. No one is a legend. The reality is we're all on the same fucking playing field. We're all human and we all have the same weaknesses. If I stab, you know, the richest man in the world in the fucking lung, and if I stab the man, the poorest man in the world in the lung, they both are going to be really fucked up. Exactly the same. I don't give a fuck about your money or your fucking experience or any of your fucking qualifications. They're bits of paper and a bunch of useless knowledge. I don't give a fuck. I will do what I gotta do at my own pace and if anyone wants to shit on me for that, they can fuck themselves. And the reason I put this out on the internet, I know there's going to be people who watch this who fucking relate. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And for you people, you're exactly where I'm at while making this video. Pissed the hell off. Pissed off. I say offensive things, but I'm never out there to just hurt people. You know, if people need to be told something roughly, I'll say it to them roughly. I'll tell a racist he's being a dickhead, not to hurt his feelings, but to show that what he's doing is wrong. I don't shit on people when they've done nothing. Nothing. And this behaviour is fucking everywhere. Like motherfuckers, you know, judging people who are Islamic because one Islamic guy was a fuckhead. You know, fuck that shit. You don't deserve to pass your judgement on anyone, and not because of God, and not because of status or any of that horse shit but because we are all the fucking same. I don't care how intelligent, how skilled you are, we all start with the same shit. Some of us have a defected version. You know what? They're not accountable for their actions. When a person who's obviously mentally defected or physically defected has something to say, one, I listen, which a lot of people are too fucking proud and up their own ass to do. And secondly, I understand that some of what they're gonna say may be hurtful. And I take into account that it's probably the result of a misfiring in the brain. But fully functioning motherfucking shitheads who are just shitheads. You're not the fucking president or prime minister of a country. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Pass your judgment on those who deserve it. 
pass your judgment on the rapist and the criminal and the horrible people of the world. That's what I do. My hatred goes there. My anger goes over there for the people who are fucking the world, who the people who are fucking it up for all us innocent people. I'm angry at them. I'm not angry at this little man over here. I'm not angry at him, yeah? I show concern for him, but I ain't angry at him, you know? People, and it, it's especially in working class. Oh, I have a job, so I hate doll bludgers. I don't hate doll bludgers. I just wish that they would do what I did. You know, because I don't want them to be trapped in the shitty situation I was in. I don't have any hate for them. I don't think they're bad people. I'm just like, dude, really, you sh I was there and it feels comfortable at the time. But really, you got to take the lunge and just do it because it's better. That's what I'm saying to doll bludgers. So many people throwing around their judgment. Oh, he's a doll bludger. He's a nigger. He's a this. He's a that. Shut the fuck up. Because at the end of the day, it's just one opinion. And guess what? One opinion equates to jack fucking shit in the real world. You, my one opinion, my shitty little mad as a goat, my crappy little videos with my opinions, at the end of the day, you know, they're only as worth as much as people who like them, you know? The, the entertainment, the joy that it gives to other people is the worth of the videos. It's not production quality, it's not my intelligence, it's not how awesome my videos are, it's how much enjoyment and, you know, good feelings are derived from my content. Too many people are like, I want to be the richest, I want to be the most famous, I want to be this. I just want to make people feel good for a couple of minutes. That's the only reason I make videos and all this. It's just so people can enjoy something. But everyone's so fucking quick to shit on you when you do something legitimately out of just compassion for the human race. I'm not racist, I'm not this. No, you're a fucking cunt. You're all about hatred, you're all about money, you're all about greed, you're a, you, you are everything you say you hate. I don't, want, I don't want fucking nothing to do with that. Nothing. All I want to do is entertain people and be left the fuck alone to do that. If other people want to detract me from that, if other people want to throw me off the path and tell me I'm a fuckhead or a dickhead, I ain't fucking listening. I do what I gotta do, and I do what feels right, and if I'm wrong, I will suffer the consequences. I don't need your angry shit in the middle of that. Fuckers. You gotta hate people sometimes, eh? You know, I'm not a violent person or anything, but fuck me, people shit me to tears at times. Mad as a goat.